At 11 by 14, Rosa is made of spray paint, acrylic paint, different types of wood, and collage on wood block. This particular depiction of Rosa is her mugshot from the 60s. You'll notice there's an Enzo in the back of Rosa. The Enzo is meant to represent enlightenment. The meaning of the red is anger and struggle. But as the Enzo nears completion, you will find bits of orange symbolizing change. And there's so little change because black people are still struggling to achieve equality in America today. You'll notice the Enzo is a little off center. And I did that so that the viewer wouldn't feel like they were balanced. Just a little disturbed. The pale yellow in the outline is meant to represent hope. The scenes depicted in her jacket are those of the Civil War, the Civil Rights Movement in the 60s, as well as the Black Lives Matter movement of today. Thank you to the following photographers for sharing their work online with us. Guillaume Isley, Nathan Dumlau, Ahima Talur Nuabona, Thomas Deleuze, and Clay Banks. The green wash in her jacket was actually an accident. After varnishing the black and white photos, some of them turned green, but it actually turned out that that was a great color to continue to use because it contrasted with the red and together with the yellow, red, and green, they make the Pan-African colors. Initially, I wanted the background to be a bit more chaotic because I wanted the viewer to feel as though they were in the middle of the struggle. So I spray painted black over it because I really wasn't too in love with it. But it produced this really beautiful texture and the rough surface achieved the look I wanted to without the chaos of too much color. My absolute favorite part of this image is Rosa's smirk. It actually reminds me of Mona Lisa's smile. To have been arrested for being so defiant and be in a room full of people that opposed your stance and oppressed your people and hold a menacing grin during the mugshot is everything. <laughs>